The only way to do it is just to get out there and do it. Hi, I am your party artist. My name is Kim Overholt. I'm here at my studio, uh, Overholt Art and Entertainment. I forgot where I was for a second. Overholt Art and Entertainment Studio, and I am your hostess with all the toast. My name is Kim Overholt, and I'm here to help you have fun and learn a little bit about painting and art and all that wonderful stuff that goes along with it. Yes, I got my sign, my Niagara Art Party sign, and I do more than just art, you know, I, well, more than just painting, I should say, although I have, <laughs> I still have stuff to be put away of all the paintings that I've done, but I do more than just painting. I oh yeah, oh yeah, I do more than just painting. I do glassware. I do uh, blacklight paintings. I do uh, um, face painting, which is Saturday, and today's face painting Saturday. So do a little face painting. If you want a class on how to face paint, well, this is kind of like it. It gives you like a little bit of an idea of what you want to do if you want to make something like crazy or something just something tiny or something. Um, I'm going to make something small today because uh, I have to get ready to go to work later on. And uh, it's like they say, no rest for the wicked. Like I said yesterday, no rest for the wicked. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this is going to be a nice little cute little thing I'll do today just to, to get it happy and fun for you guys. Uh, let me see. I'll put some music on, you know, because I can do that now. They have um, music that I can use or lo-fi. There we go. That's my baby right there. Let me play a little music, background music for you. That way it isn't so like, oh, what's she talking about? Okay, I'm going to fall asleep while I'm watching. <laughs> no, don't fall asleep. Although everyone needs a nap, you know. <laughs> you like my slogan? Yeah, I think I definitely, you know, before I started all this, I took myself a nap because I was up way too early. I figure if I'm going to be working all day long. Hey, good morning, Colleen. Yeah, if I'm going to be working all day long, today is going to be a day where I'm just going to like relax, take it easy before I have to go in again. So, hey, welcome to my like, little thing to do, little art with you. And uh, like I say, today is face painting Saturday. So we're going to do a little painting. I've got my brush is here. These are the ones I got. You know what? I always say the dollar store, uh, Dollarama, whatever one you go to, it makes you feel like a millionaire when you go there. And you can find some really cool stuff there, including like, they say that these are just paintbrushes, but these are more than just paintbrushes that you can get at the dollar store. These are actually really good for doing makeup. These are good makeup brushes. And like I say, they're the dollar store ones. This is my little uh, details brush that I use for like special little extras like dots or swirls or that kind of thing. You can make like little tiny, um, tiny butterflies, little tiny details. This is basically what it's about. It's almost like doing painting on a canvas because like I say, you get a, a big one to kind of do all the big stuff for you. And then you get to the little details ones where you can, the, the wedge I say is probably one of the best brushes to have, especially if you do makeup on yourself too. I do my eyebrows and stuff and um, just, just so they match my hair, you know, <laughs> and uh, I use a wedge brush and this one's like good because you can use like the, the big side, like this part right here, or you can turn it sideways and use it on the skinny side or that little tip is really good. That little tip right there is really good for making like little tiny dots too. So if you, if you don't have like one of these little tiny things, if you're real careful, you can get really good with this too. So it's all about practice. Uh, everything you do with art, if you want to get better at it, you just got to practice more. So we're going to practice. It's been a while since I did some face painting too. So this is going to be uh, good for me as well. So what I use usually is the Snazaru paints. I have like just this little thing to show you, but I have... <clears throat> from my years of doing face painting and stuff like that uh, at uh, Shirkston Shores and uh, with the uh, owner's exclusive clubs there, uh, painted faces for kids for, oh gosh, almost eight years. It was a blast and really quick. I always keep them nice and simple for kids because they, you know, they love stuff like that just to make something decorative. They love everything. And that's, that's what was so great about the other day when we had our Niagara art party. They did such a great job, you know, I, I just show them what to do. They do it. And the things that come out, beautiful, beautiful. And I'm always impressed. So, oh, so to get started, of course, yes, of course, we need more brushes. We have the paints here. We have the Sazaru paints. And I also use, what are they called? I also use, um, I found these odd little glitter cakes and stuff like that. I like using it for like little details. Ooh, that makes me think. 
maybe I'll do like a nice little thing again on the side of my face, which was really, really cool. Last time I did a goldfish and I used a bit of gold on there and it really just made it shine a little bit nicer. Now, what I can think about making something like a, maybe I'll make a dragon, maybe a dragon on the side. Both kind of neat. Something different to try. I don't think I've done a dragon yet. First time for everything. And you know, uh, the fun thing is making it for kids so they can kind of go and it, you can make the mouth be the mouth of uh, whatever you and the tail kind of comes out this way and the body comes over here but i can show you it's really 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 simple and a nice little simple dragon yeah i'll do it why not uh color of my dragon here's to think what color should it be of course if we're going to have a gold dragon i will have to probably make it yellow so <clears throat> we'll try a yellow dragon with a little bit of orange in it and we'll see how that goes okay so firstly, I have my big ones too. These are, are very good, especially when you have like lots of kids to do. These are like a godsend, I tell you. Like you have the little ones like that, but you can also have like the big palette full of them. And also the small ones here. Because, like I say, I have tons of the small ones. They're all full of all different colors as well. <clears throat> so this dragon bee can be multicolored if I want it to be. And maybe I will do that in yellow, a little bit of or, uh, orange, and maybe a little bit of purple in there too. We'll try and see what will happen. Okay. I have my mirror as well. It's always good to have an extra mirror. So so you can look at yourself in case you, you know, make an oopsies and you want to get close. And, like, and for kids to show them afterwards, because, you know, afterwards when the kids are... I don't show the kids until after I've done the painting. And I go, are you ready to see what you look like? Oh yeah, yeah, and then like, and oh my goodness, you know the 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 expression is always the the, the best, you know. Okay, so let's get going because there's only one way to do it is just to do it. My music stopped. I hope it keeps going. Okay, I think something's going. Okay, there we go. All right, starting back up again. <laughs> I'm like, okay, maybe I should stop now. Okay, I, I gotta tell you, when you get older. I have hot flashes every once in a while. I have to take, I have to take my sweater off here now. I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to show you more of my body. I'm just trying to cool off. Because, and then sometimes if you're hot and you put um, the paint on you, sometimes it'll, it'll, it'll mush up a bit. So I just don't want to overheat myself. You know, I get so excited when I'm here. <laughs> right? Oh my gosh, I need a fan. I've got lots of fans out there. I appreciate all 36, 35, 37. I love them all. So I appreciate you being here. Okay, so first thing to start off with is, oh, I think I'll start off with the wedge brush because that'll give me, I want to do like a little detail here. And as you can see, maybe I can cover up my scars. See, this happened when I fell off my bike back in 97. These are the scars left behind from the concussion I had. Yeah, I knocked myself out. It was fun. I think everybody should knock themselves out at least once. No. <laughs> No, no, don't. But it was a really interesting sensation. It, 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 uh, like, I told, I tell you, I was in another place when this happened. Uh, uh, when I fell off my bike, all of a sudden, like, I didn't know. It wasn't like I was on my bike anymore. I tell people that what happened is, what I remember is I'm pedaling along. And then I realize I was with a group of people. And uh, here I am, I'm pedaling all by myself. And that's kind of strange. And that's when it kind of jarred me that I, I actually, yeah, I was actually with a bunch of people and I woke up and I'm like, I don't even, like, it was like one of those things where I was on the ground. I can kind of remember being on the ground. And then I remember being in somebody's car and then I remember being at the hospital and I was kind of like, Phew. that was fun. But anyways, yeah, <laughs> I'm getting into things I shouldn't even get into. Let's start painting. My goodness. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Concussions are interesting though. Oh. And you need water. And water, and I need a little bit of a sip to sip this up too. But anyway, my little palette. Okay, see, it was around here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Something to put the water into. Okay. Because you do need a little bit of water, but keep it away from your electronics. That's, oh, all talk and no action. Come on, Kimmy. Yeah, let's go. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're going. Okay. We're going for it. So I'm going to start with the wedge here. All right. Start with some yellow. I'm going to just dip it into the yellow until it comes to a nice color. Uh, like. All right. And like I say, I've got my mirror here too. So every once in a while, I'll probably just kind of look at it for reference. So bear with me. 
my hair behind my ear. I always try to get kids to keep the, their hair off their face while they're doing it. So there we go. So I start off with some basic shapes. So what I'm going to do is start at the mouth here and just make a shape. Almost like a triangle shape it's just where the head is this is where the head of the dragon is going to be it's a little bit on the green side so i don't want to let me just get a little bit looks kind of funny right now i know a little better in a second So it kind of comes around here, so it'll be like a long tail. Well, the tail will come around here. So this can be like a flying dragon. Let's see the body here and the tail there. Just bear with me. on my dragon just so it looks like it's flying a bit so I might put something right about here to kind of look like it's flying so just kind of look at it and let's maybe go about here dragon oh yeah like the dragon smog oh yeah. but he wasn't a golden dragon was he i don't think it was cool but <laughs> i've got another scar right there i can cover it over as well I'll show you. I, I have it in my mind, but it, you know you can kind of see it coming. There we go. So to give it a little bit of detail, I'm going to have to go in there with a little bit of more color, a different color to kind of show it so you can see it a little bit better. So I'm going to take a little bit of orange. So I'm going to take that yellow. I'm going to make it golden. So a little orange there to kind of give you a little bit more detail of what where it is and what it is. There you go. Okay.
raining out today too, so this music goes so nicely with what, what's going on outside today. It's kind of a gray day today. I hope it's nicer wherever you're watching this from. <laughs> but today is a rainy day here, so that's why I had to put a little, a little bit of extra lights because it is kind of on the dark side. So. right there. I got my hair in my way. <laughs> there we go. That one went here and then the one that comes out here. And you can see it's a talking dragon. <laughs> so they'll start coming together. So, to keep it a little bit interesting, I'll make it a little bit more, I'll get a little bit more gold colored one right here, so get down to the yellow. If not, I'll add a little bit of white to make it a little kind of come out a little bit more. Because it's actually supposed to be yellow. yellow. <laughs> See the one right there, and the other one comes out this way. It almost looks like a, a, a bird. But we'll start adding some nice colors into it and make it gold and look really neat. Okay, so. There, it's got a little more gold on it too. There, it's a little better. It's coming kind of, it almost looks like a bird, like I say. And you could, if you wanted to make it into a bird or something, you could change it up. As you can see, it's talking already. So there you go. So, I mean, something as straightforward as just that. You can see where it's going to. songs all year listening to this music all right so there we go so we had a basic outline and there comes this little dragon shape now start adding some neat little colors and add the eye in there and fix the wings a little bit more all right so let me just rinse that out a little bit 
I'll go to my, uh, do I switch to another one? Well, you know what? I'll switch to another color because i um, got to make it a little bit more dramatic. So I'm going to see, maybe a little bit of blue. Blue, I'll kind of make it blue. Actually, no, blue will make it a little bit more. I'm going to make it kind of purplish. So I'm going to add some blue and red together. I'm going to make my own purple. Because the opposite of yellow is purple. So I'm going to try and make some, like, some low lights on the... It can look like a shadow of the wing there. And the other wing there too. I can still add the legs on here too if I want to, or put some legs up here too. Okay. So you can see the wing a little bit better. There we go. shadows or something. There we go. All right, now I'm going to switch my little details brush. See what we can do. Little detail. Uh, what color there I should be? Maybe I'll make the eye blue. in front here for a second. There we go. Make a sound of a dragon. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so I'll do that right now. I'm going to add a little bit, a bit of details because sometimes details is where you get to see how it's going to come all together. So, uh, Oh, and I want to add some legs. So bear with me. I still want to add some legs in there. for last because if you want to have nice sharp teeth I'll, I'll leave that for last but details details okay
Yeah, usually that this, this doesn't take a little for kids. I would go a lot faster, of course, but this is my own little thing, so I just wanted to show you. see it. <laughs> it goes one darker here now. Okay, you can see his wings now. There we go. Good. Yeah, not too bad. Like I say, everybody's like, do you do your lines? I'm like, yes. Very carefully. There's my mole. Trying to cover that over. <laughs> Like 
that. And then, oh, 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 because I got to do the details too. <laughs> of course. All right, so got to get some white going on here too. Now, okay, I'll use that little snazaroo. I'll show you a little extra details too. <laughs> Black off of my little brush and go right to my white here. I still got some of the yellow from the water on there, but that's okay. I'm dipping into my. There we go. This is where the magic happens. No, oh, <laughs> sorry, I gotta use my mirror. Sorry, if I go like this, I'm gonna be like, oh, I missed a spot. And of course, I'm gonna make them scary. Got to add the nice sharp teeth. So. And of course, last but not least, I'm going to put some gold on there. So let me just try to be out of the bigger one. Go more like that. That way you can see it a little bit better. There we go. And it's a talking happy dragon. And so sorry. Like one more swishing. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and the smiling dragon too. There we go. Now let me just uh, add some gold. Add the gold, and then all the time, you know, people say, "Oh, you know, sparkles. You gotta have sparkles. The kids love the sparkles." I love the sparkles. My mom used to love sparkles, let me tell you. <laughs> one time, like I was telling the story of my friend the other day. How my, I come to visit my mom the one time and I'm looking on her face and she's got sparkles. Like, not just, you know, like what she's got. I'm like, oh, I'm like, mom, what are you doing? Oh, I love sparkles. I'm like, okay, <laughs> let's fix that up. <laughs> I was like, I had to get her all cleaned up. She was like, wow. That's good. Okay, so I'm just taking that, that cake right there with the nice gold on it. I'm just going to start applying it to my dragon so you can kind of see how it makes it shine. We all do this in the mirror, so there we go. There we go. 
Hello, see? More, more, more! More, more, more! I'll do it. And now I can also do like the wings. I have green sparkles too, so just bear with me. I'll put some green sparkles on there. You can really tell that. You see that? Green sparkles over here. Oh, oh no, wait a minute. I'm tired. <laughs> on the dragon. <laughs> Not on me. There we go. It gives a nice little shine too. You see. And there you go, a happy little dragon. Let me Hello, happy people! I'm a happy dragon! I'm here to tell you to always be happy. <laughs> there we go. Isn't that cute? Something simple. Alright, I gotta go wash it off and get ready for work. <laughs> no rest for the wicked, as you know. So, Hey! Face Painting Saturdays. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, anything you want to ask me about or anything you'd like to see me try and recreate on my face here please let me know in the comments below and if you enjoyed it also let me know too because i'd like to hear the good and the bad so all right and i hope you have a fantastic day as my mom used to say peace of brother with a little bit added and as you can see i love adding a little bit so <laughs> i hope you have a good one